lowering the cost of insulin for the 30 million Americans living with diabetes will take center stage at a Senate hearing. Expected to testify, the CEOs of three major insulin manufacturers who control roughly 90 percent of the global insulin supply. Nick's here with a closer look at what exactly is on the table. Hey, Nick. Marky, good morning. Senators Bernie Sanders, who is chair of the Senate Health Committee, is leading the charge against drug companies, calling on them to lower their prices. Today's hearing is set to drill companies about the high cost of insulin. The CEOs of Eli Lilly and Company, Novo Nordisk, and Sanofi, are expected to roll out their plans to make insulin more affordable. We'll also hear from pharmacy benefit managers, or PBMs, from CVS Health, Express Scripts, and Optimum RX. According to the American Diabetes Association, Eli Lilly & Co. capped its out-of-pocket costs at 35 bucks per month for those with or without insurance for an insulin prescription. Novo Nordisk committed to reducing wholesale prices for several types of insulin by 65 to 75% by January 2024. And Sanofi also announced it would cut prices of its most commonly prescribed insulin product by next January. In statements shared ahead of the hearing, the drug companies appear to place the blame on the PBMs for high patient out-of-pocket costs. Sanders, though, says the committee will work aggressively to lower the cost of prescription drugs for everyone. A day ahead of the hearing, the Vermont lawmaker releasing a digital short of a candid roundtable discussion he had featuring Americans who rely on insulin. We are hostages to these companies. If they wanted to, to charge a million dollars for this, there's nothing stopping them. There is nothing stopping them. You're quite right. right. The bottom line is that in the richest country in the history of the world, people should not have to live in fear every day that they can't afford a product that keeps them alive. And Mark, you met, you heard that patient right there talk about how they fear that the cost could go up at any time. This has long been a concern. Now, while the details of the insulin uh, re uh, pr price reduction plans for these companies are being fleshed out today, Sanders and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer are also weighing two separate proposals that would cap the cost of insulin at 35 bucks for both the insured and uninsured. Of those two, one could come up for a vote this month. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.